is going on YouTube? I am Lamont at large. Today we are in Waldron, Kansas, and we are going through the gates of the Waldron Cemetery here. And we're gonna visit the grave of Tammy Faye Messner. Tammy Faye Messner was born Tammy Faye Lavalley on March 7th, 1942. She was born to Pentecostal preachers, and that is where she found her love for God, her love for the Lord Jesus Christ and her love of spreading said gospel. After graduating high school, she had went to a Bible college in Minnesota and that is where she met her future husband, Jim Baker. At the time, uh, Jim worked at a department store and Tammy was working at a clothing store slash boutique. So they met in 1960 and got married the following year. After they got married, they moved to South Carolina because they wanted to get into the ministry and I believe Jim at the time uh, wanted to be, I don't want to say he wanted to be an evangelist. He definitely wanted to be a preacher, but I, you know, just by reading a, a brief history about him, he definitely had his eyes uh, set on uh, a really big and grandiose things. So how they got their start in becoming so well known and famous was that at the time uh, they were the host of a television show called The 700 Club. Uh, Jim Baker was the original host. Now The 700 Club uh, got uh, the name, and it's a pretty interesting uh, quick history on how they got that name. So Pat Robertson, uh, who founded the, um, the network where The 700 Club plays on, bought a television station in Hampton, Virginia and uh, the ratings weren't very good at first. And uh, he made a plea to anybody that was watching. He said, I need 700 people to donate $10 a month to keep the station going. And that's how they got the name, the 700 Club. So Jim and Tammy Baker now, they had a television show on that network and they also had a, a television show where it was it was like a kid's show with Muppets now I didn't watch that show I knew of it I've seen it before because you know when you're turning the television on the dial of your TV and there's nothing on you sometimes stumble up across the 700 club and they would have like these Muppets uh, of course I didn't watch that show I was a sinner so I was watching uh, Sesame Street but uh, that is how they got popular. And I guess due to different philosophies or they had a falling out or some say that he was fired. Anyways, so Jim and Tammy, they both left the network and they went to go work at uh, TBN, uh, Trinity Broadcasting Network, another uh, Christian uh, TV network. And that is where they stayed until they went out on their own and they founded uh, the PTL uh, network praise the Lord so basically uh, praise the Lord it was uh, Jim Baker he was a very very well-known preacher at that time uh, as a matter of fact um, I would say he was probably top two or three uh, most well-known preachers at that time and uh, they had this big huge uh, mega church so Jim would uh, preach and Tammy would sing. And Tammy was a pretty good uh, singer. She could have possibly had made it out in secular music if she show, uh, if she, you know, chosen to do so. And from 1974 till about 1989, uh, the PTL network was um, broadcasted over you know hundreds of uh, television stations throughout the country and the world. However, that would all come crashing down when in 1989, uh, a woman by the name of Jessica Hahn uh, made some uh, very, very uh, startling accusations against Jim Baker. Uh, she claimed that they had an affair uh, dating back to 1980. Back then, Jessica Hahn was a secretary, 21-year-old secretary and uh, she worked for uh, the Bakers. And uh, 
I'm pretty sure that Tammy Faye knew what was going on. I mean, listen, when you're that powerful of a man, no matter what word or doctrine you're preaching, there's going to be women that see a powerful man or whatever they deem powerful and uh, they're going to want a piece of them. It, that's just the way it works. And uh, Jim Baker, uh, tempted by the, uh, you know, the uh, one of the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not covet uh, thy neighbor's uh, wife or thou shalt not commit adultery. Well, he was very, very tempted and he fell to that temptation so she was paid some hush money to keep quiet about the accusations because it wasn't all only those accusations of just adultery there was also accusations of her being drugged and raped by Jim Baker and other um, PTL associates uh, she was paid some hush money I don't know what happened with that, but she still went uh, public with her story. And the church, the PTL, slowly but surely started crumbling. Now, there had been some accusations against the Bakers for quite some time before their eventual collapse uh, that they were misappropriating church funds. You know, all that money that uh, when they start saying hey we need money to keep things going well some of that money a lot of that money was going into their own pockets and in 1989 the government finally charged jim baker with eight counts of mail fraud 16 counts of wire fraud and uh, one count of good old-fashioned conspiracy so eventually a grand jury after indicting him uh, a jury convicted him of all of the counts and they sentenced him to 45 years in prison uh, 45 years in prison now that's quite excessive in my personal opinion so he went off to prison for 45 years However, later on, he would get his sentence reduced to eight years. He ended up doing five years, and then he got out of prison. And uh, Tammy Faye Baker, uh, she divorced Jim while he was in prison, and she went out on her own. And she would later go on to marry uh, Roe Messner, uh, who is was wealthy anyways. Uh, not wealthy, excuse me, I take that back. He was well off. He was a... Uh, one of those uh, church builders. Uh, if you had a church and you were looking to get a big uh, built, uh, he would build it. And he also built uh, quite a few mega churches. And of course, he would get into trouble his own self and do a couple of years in prison uh, for bankruptcy fraud. So she remarried, and uh, Tammy has always been in the not necessarily in the spotlight, but she's always been well known. Uh, she did a couple of television shows. Uh, she did the Surreal Life on VH1. Uh, she was on the Drew Carey Show a couple times. Um, she was had done a you know somebody had did a, a documentary about her life. She would do talk shows, stuff like that. And uh, in 1996, uh, she was diagnosed with colon cancer. Now, after she was diagnosed with colon cancer. Uh, she had went on to uh, get on the Larry King show and she said you know at the first time that she was in remission and later on the cancer came back and it had spread to her lungs and um, then you started having you know these uh, tabloid magazines saying that Tammy's dying she's in hospice this that and the third and uh, let me tell you I will never forget that image of Tammy Faye, uh, the last time that she would make a television appearance was on July 18th of 2007. Uh, I'll never forget that image. Uh, it it looked like uh, what I used to see uh, on those old uh, World War II uh, TV shows uh, talking about the history of the Holocaust and what have you. And. Uh, she only weighed 65 pounds and at that time she was no longer able to eat solid food and uh, 
it was pretty much her goodbye to her fans and uh, she died two days later after that appearance on the television and uh, this of course is the, the grave of Tammy Faye Messner and uh, people have of course left her makeup uh, she loved makeup that was uh, very apparent uh, you know oftentimes Hollywood celebrities when they're dying of a particular disease you never see them and they never want to be shown because you know probably at the end of the day they want to be remembered for you know their fans for how they looked uh, at their best in whatever movies or television show that they're famous for but uh, that took a lot of courage for that for for Tammy to do that because that was uh, truly heartbreaking to see uh, a woman that people have loved and followed for so many years and to see her in that condition any human being any human being in that condition uh, you know cancer is a uh, terrible 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 thing uh, rest in peace to uh, Tammy Faye Messner Tammy Faye's husband uh, is still alive he's 87 years old and uh, he's actually the one, because he knew the Bakers for a very long time, uh, he's actually the one that uh, paid Jessica Hahn that money uh, to hush up. And uh, obviously, that didn't work. Anyways, guys, I am out of here. I'm going to sit in the cemetery for a little while because I don't know where I'm going. Uh, it's pretty windy. I hope you guys, <laughs> hope the wind uh, wasn't too bad for this video. I don't like doing voiceovers. I could have done one, but I, I'd rather just talk as I walk. All right, guys. I'm hitting the road. Live, but not live, but still alive by the grace of God. Lawan at large. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you hopefully on the next one. Peace out.